Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, x minus 5 equals the square root of x plus 1, okay? Well, square root's already isolated, so I'm going to square both sides to eliminate that square root. Square both sides here. By squaring both sides, on the left-hand side, I need to remember, multiply that out. That's x minus 5 times x minus 5. That comes out to be x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals x plus 1, which is left here. Let's bring everything over to the left-hand side. Subtract an x of both parts. So negative 10x minus x is negative 11x. And then subtract a 1 minus 24 equals 0. Now I need to foil, uh, factor this, factor this. What two numbers multiply to be negative 24 but add to be negative 11? And what I'm thinking here, right, thinking here is, okay, what two numbers multiply to be negative 24, okay, but add to be negative 11? And, oh, positive 24, I'm sorry, it's positive, good. I was trying to think that one through. Positive 24, right? 25 minus 1 is a positive 24. We all make mistakes, it's all good. So, we have x here, x equals 0. Positive 24, negative 11, I'm thinking minus 3 and minus 8, right? Negative 3 times negative 8 is a positive 24. They add together to be a negative 11. Fantastic. So our two solutions here are 3 and 8. So we need to check both of them here. So here's my ch uh, ch check. I'm going to check here. And we have x equals 3 first. So let's rewrite our equation. x minus 5 equals square root of x plus 1. Let's go plug 3 in for both x's. 3 minus 5 here equals square root of 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we square root of 4 over there. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Square root of 4 is just 2. So negative 2 equals positive 2. That's not correct, right? They're not equal. So 3 is actually what we call extraneous solution, right? It worked here when we solved. When we checked it, it didn't come back full circle. Let's check the other one. x equals 8. So we're given x minus 5 equals square root of x plus 1. Let's plug 8 in for both x's. 8 minus 5 equals square root of 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So we have square root of 9 there. 8 minus 5 is 3. Square root of 9 is 3. Do the left and right hand sides equal? Yes, they do. Fantastic. Making x equals 8 our only solution, right? The other one was extraneous. So let's recap. We're given x minus 5 uh, equals square root of x plus 1. I square both sides, eliminate the square root, and multiply it out here, x minus 5 times x minus 5, which gave me x squared minus 10x plus 25, and that equaled x plus 1. Brought the x, uh, subtract x both sides, subtracted a 1, make sure that's a positive 24 there, and then I had x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. I factored that, giving me x minus 3 and x minus 8. I then set both of them equal to 0 to get x equals 3 and x equals 8. From there, I do my check. I plug x in first, or x equals 3 in, to my original equation, simplified, and was left with negative 2 equals a positive 2. They're not equal, right? That's not true, making 3 an extraneous solution. Did the same thing with x equals 8, substituted it into my original equation, but this time I got 3 equals 3. That's a true statement, making x equals 8 a real solution. So our final answer here is just x equals 8.